Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, I mean, I Miss Morris County. Good evening. I am Anne Marie Moyarty. Currently I'm attending Ryder College Graduate School. My goal for the future is to be a lawyer. I would like to take this time to thank my parents, family, and friends for all their encouragement and support. Good evening, 
second phase of competition. Expertise, creativity, and performance are the vital ingredients in this next very important phase of competition. Each contestant now has the opportunity to express to you and our judges that something special that makes her unique. The talent competition is truly an exhibition of each contestant's personal best. The judges have also been advised to score the contestants on their talent presentation only, with no relation to their other qualifications. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 19, Miss Morris County, Anne-Marie Moriarty, will be performing a classical song from Porgy and Bess entitled Summertime.
against Morris County and Marie Moriarty. Contestant number five, Miss Cumberland County, Lisa D'Agostino, will be performing a self-choreographed dance routine to the song City Lights from the Act. Contestant number five, Miss Cumberland County, Lisa D'Agostino. Contestant number six, Miss Monmouth County, Linda Maria Wilson, will be singing a ballad by George Gershwin entitled, Someone to Watch Over Me. Seek and he shall find So I'm going to seek this little lad I have In mind Searching everywhere, haven't found him yet He's that one affair I cannot forget Only man I ever think of with regret to my monograph. Tell me where is the shepherd for this lost land? There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I'm so glad he turned out to be. I'm a little lamb who's lost in the world. I know I could always be good to one who watch over me.
Linda Maria Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some VIPs in the audience and they know very well what it was like to be up here competing on this stage. Therefore, she'll be performing on the piano excerpts from Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. Suburban County, Karen Zosh. And guys, I have two more VIPs for you. We have the president of the Miss America pageant, Ellen and her husband, Neil. Mr. and Mrs. Plum, please stand. Thank you for coming. And the very newly crowned Miss Pennsylvania, Leah Shiaza. Leah? She'll be with our new Miss New Jersey in September in Atlantic City. Contestant number 21, Miss Camden County, Christine Mackin, will be performing an acrobatic jazz routine to the famous Pointer Sisters hit, I'm So Excited. Thank <laughs> you. 
Contestant number 21, Miss Camden County, Christine Mackin. Contestant number 22, Miss Bergen County, Laura Ann Bridges, will be performing a musical routine entitled Nobody Does It Like Me from the Broadway musical Seesaw. <laughs> There's a wrong way to do it, a wrong way to play, nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong way to do it, a right way to mess it up, nobody does it like me. I've got a big loud mouth, I'm always talking much too free. If you go for tact and manners, better stay away from me. If there's a wrong way to play it cool, the right way to be a fool, nobody does it like me. I hear a loud song, a ballad, I toss like a salad, nobody tosses like me. And when my evenings get tougher, I just take two buffering and with a half cup of tea. Last night I met an old acquaintance at a fancy corner club. He said, come on, let's have some supper. So he used my credit card. If there's a wrong way to take a guy, the right way to lose a guy, nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong bell, I ring it. A wrong note, I sing it. Nobody does it like me. If there's a problem, I duck it. I don't solve it, I just mess things up. Nobody does it like me. And so I try to be a lady. I'm a lady, I'm a fraud. Cause when I talk like I'm a lady, what I sound like is a fraud. If there's a wrong way to take a guy, the right way to lose a guy. Nobody does it like me. Nobody does it, no. Nobody does it. Nobody does it like me. Contestant number 22, Miss Bergen County, Laura Ann Bridges. Contestant number 18, Miss Deptford, Erin Stetzer, will be performing a jazz dance to Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. <laughs>
Contestant number 18, Miss Deptford Erin Stetzer. Contestant number 10, Miss Union County, Deborah Beth Rossler, will be performing themes from the opera Carmen by Georges Bizet on the flute. Deborah Beth Rossler. Contestant number 11, Miss Passaic County, Barbara Lee Merkel will be singing the dramatic aria Visi Darte from Tosca by Puccini. I saw 
Fayette County, Barbara Lee Merkel. Contestant number 12, Miss Mercer County, Tony Georgiana, will be performing a lyrical acro acrobatic dance routine to Slaughter on 10th Avenue. Contestant number 12, Miss Mercer County, Tony Georgiana. Ladies and gentlemen. Swimsuit and tradition in many ways are synonymous terms. For in the early years of the Miss America program, the swimsuit competition was the primary criteria in choosing Miss America. Today, this phase of competition is still a tradition, but only one avenue on the road to the Miss America crown. Our judges have been instructed to score each contestant on their figure, posture, and poise with no relation to their other qualifications. Ladies and gentlemen, let's greet our contestants beginning with contestant number 19, Miss Morris County, Anne-Marie Moriarty. <laughs> For her talent performance this evening, Anne-Marie sang the classical tune Summertime from Porgy and Bess. Contestant number five, Miss Cumberland County, Lisa D'Augustino. For Lisa's talent performance this evening, she danced to the song City Lights. Contestant 
at number six, Miss Monmouth County, Linda Maria Wilson. <laughs> Linda's talent presentation this evening was to sing Gershwin's Someone to Watch Over Me. Contestant number 23, Miss Suburban Counties, Karen Zosh. For her talent presentation this evening, Karen played the piano, excerpts from Rhapsody in Blue. Contestant number 21, Miss Camden County, Christine Mackin. For her talent presentation this evening, Christine performed an acrobatic jazz routine. Contestant number 22, Miss Bergen County, Laura Ann Bridges. <laughs> Laura Ann's talent presentation this evening was to perform a musical routine to Nobody Does It Like Me. Contestant number 18, Miss Deptford, Aaron Stetzer. For her talent presentation this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron performed a jazz dance to Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. Contestant number 10, Miss Union County, Deborah Beth Rossler. Deborah's talent presentation was to perform excerpts from Carmen on the flute. Contestant number 11, Miss Passaic County, Barbara Lee Merkel. For her talent this evening, Barbara sang the dramatic aria from Tosca. Contestant number 12, Miss Mercer County, Tony Georgiana. For her talent presentation, Tony performed a lyrical acrobatic dance routine to Slaughter on 10th Avenue.
contestants are again in position for the official Miss America pageant group judging. ladies. Let's give them another very warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Our beautiful contestants in evening swimsuit competition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. Art Abbott. Great job. Got a great voice. By the way, what, what's the name of that song? Anytime. Anytime? Is that a promise? Anytime. <laughs> Just the thought of competing for the title of Miss New Jersey creates an electricity and excitement that stays with you and reflects in everything you do. The people you meet, the friends you make, and the personal growth you experience that makes you a better person. And finally, all the preparation and worry brings you to this very special moment. A decision is announced, and suddenly your excitement can no longer be contained. A winner all the way, and in a few minutes, you'll know. I need pockets, but I don't mind borrowing his. 
ladies and gentlemen, for the past year, the crown of Miss New Jersey has been worn by a beautiful and talented young lady. Her sincere devotion to the Miss America ideals and philosophy have proven her to truly be the perfect example and role model of young womanhood. This determined lady made her presence known in Atlantic City by winning a talent scholarship for her dramatic presentation during the talent competition. Her reign has been characterized by her warmth, sincerity, and genuine concern for the people of our state. She has touched the hearts of those who have had the privilege of meeting her. The magic of her smile, her caring heart, and never-ending pursuit in striving to be all that she can be have inspired us all. We are all the better for having her represent us, even if it was only for one short year. The memory of the joy she has brought to all will reign indefinitely. We thank you for your unselfish service to the people of New Jersey and extend to you our best wishes for a bright and successful future. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss New Jersey 1984-85, Patricia Laterra. Getting farewell is never very easy, especially when you're saying goodbye to be part of your life that will always bring the very fondest of memories. I feel as though my reign as Miss New Jersey will always be remembered as my first significant step towards a staircase of fulfillment in my life. I have no regrets about the past year. Throughout all the preparation and anxiety of the Miss America pageant, there was a great deal of growth for me, and I decided to set the plans for my new goal. I found myself shooting high, but then, if you don't shoot, you can't score. Somewhere out there, my Academy Award is waiting. The drive and persistence I learned this year will come in handy now, as I strive to reach an even stronger goal. I have learned to grow from my errors and shine through my successes and every moment has made me a more confident and ambitious young lady. Regardless of the trophies that lie on the shelves in my living room, I won so much more. I am a better person for all the friendships I have made and the experiences I have had this year. As I look back, one of the most constant and powerful things I have experienced within myself is the desire to be, to be more than I am, to say, I can't, one less time every day, to try harder and to improve. My reign has helped me to realize that I can do all of these things and much more. There is so much out there to conquer, and now I am ready to begin. My only regret is that I will not pass this way again, and so I would like to take this time to thank everyone responsible for having brought me to this very special plateau in my life. A plateau that never could have been reached without a great deal of support. That kind of support I have received each and every day of my reign from some very special people. To my new sister, Pearl Valley, I wish you were here tonight, but wherever you are, thank you for touching my life this year. May God bless and keep you, always. To my friends, especially Julio, George, Gia, and Donna, thank you for standing by me and encouraging me. When I heard you chanting my name in convention hall, that was my success, my crown. I love you guys. To Pete. I know it wasn't always easy this year, but no matter how up or down I was, you were always very supportive. Thank you for being there, Pete, especially when I needed you most. Dear Aunt Betty and Uncle Nate, what a threesome we made as we toured this great state of ours. The memories I have of our times together hold a very precious place in my heart. I will never forget you and Brian, Sackerville, Baby, and Foxy. I hope that when you think of Miss New Jersey 1984, you will recall a special time and you'll feel happy because that's how I feel and lucky to have shared this year with you. To my brothers, Terry, Andrew, Cheyenne, and especially Charlie and my mother and father, sometimes it seems like everyone talks of wanting this or needing that, and they fill their days with thoughts of acquiring new things and attaching a lesser value to the things they already have, 
that are really important. But when I think of what matters to me, my thoughts always return to the one most important aspect of my life, without which all the other things I have would be meaningless. I have been blessed with much, and even though I may not always be as content as I should be, underneath it all, I realize how very gracious life has been to me, and how very wonderful tomorrow hopes to be. For I have all of you in my life, and that's enough for me. So on this night, on this very special night, I would just like to say thank you for making me so very proud of my family. I love you all so very much. To the contestants, remember you are all equal. Some may have greater talents where you are lacking, but you are greater in areas where they cannot go. Live to win in life, and you will. There are so many more special friends who I wish I had the time to thank and the proper words to say. Unfortunately, my time is running out, but please remember how much all you have done has meant to me. Thank you, all of you, for making this little girl's dream come true. To perform on that famous stage and to walk that endless runway. Now it's time to move on, but I'm sure glad I passed this way. One more thing before I go. To Bob Cole and Ed Grant, we miss you, but wherever you are, watch closely now as I crown a new member of our family. To my family, friends, New Jersey, and the Miss America Scholarship Program, thank you. It's been a very special year. I think you created a flood in here, Patty. <laughs> it was just beautiful. Oh. This year, the judges have awarded seven non-finalist awards. These awards are given to the contestants that distinguish themselves during the talent competition. Your program states the award is $100, but it has been increased to $150 per contestant. May I have the ballot? The non-finalist non awards go to contestant number three, Miss Atlantic County, Chung Lee. <laughs> contestant number eight, Miss Middlesex County, Holly Greif. <laughs> Contestant number 20, Miss Hudson County, Susan Cardillo. <laughs> Contestant number 24, Miss Columbus Day, Beth Potusky. <laughs> Contestant number 17, Miss Glassboro State College, Margaret Malatesta. Contestant number four, Miss Washington Township, Kimberly McCann. Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations. The Terry Hill Kiwanis Club acknowledges with great appreciation the many groups, businesses, and individuals who believe in this very worthwhile program and offer their support to maintain it in the true spirit in which it was created. And at this time, while awaiting the judge's decision, we would like to recognize three very special people. For 16 years, this very talented and dedicated gentleman has volunteered his services to a program that he truly believes in. He is very special to all of us for all that he is and all that he brings to this program. Our associate producer, Mr. Tom Lindia. Tom? Actually, he's too handsome to keep behind the scenes. We all want to 
to extend our deepest love, appreciation, and admiration to a wonderful woman who creates magic wherever she goes and under whatever the circumstances. She certainly created the best of times for all of us here this week, and I'm sure for all of you these past three nights. We don't know what to say, but we sure love her. Marsha Highland. <laughs> Thanks, Marcia. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> There's a phrase that has become very meaningful to all of us that are involved in the New Jersey Scholarship Pageant, whether it be at the local or the state level. And the phrase is pageant family. And the man that has, has been working 52 weeks a year for more than 25 years to keep our family growing is our executive director, Mr. Nathan Zauber. <laughs> Better known as Uncle Nate, believe it or not. This is it. And now the moment we've been waiting for. The competitions are completed and the judges have made their final decision of which one of these ten finalists will wear the crown of Miss New Jersey 1985-86. Nancy? Oh. <laughs> this is it, folks. Thank you. The fourth runner-up, contestant number 11, Miss Passaic County, Barbara Merkel. <laughs> Our third runner-up, contestant number 6, Miss Monmouth County, Linda Wilson. <laughs> Our second runner-up, contestant number 19, Miss Morris County, Anne-Marie Moriarty. The first runner-up is a very important position, as we are particularly aware here in the state of New Jersey. If the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, these duties will then go to the first runner-up. Our first runner-up, contestant number 22, Laura Bridges, Miss Bergen County. <laughs> One deep breath. And our brand new Miss New Jersey, contestant number 12, Miss Mercer County, Tony Georgiana.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please pray.